Hey guys, I'm going to be showing you how to get um, most of the monsters, if not all of them, in the 72 hour challenge for Monster Legends. So first thing you want to do is make sure that your defense team is absolute garbage. We're talking, you want a level 4 or lower. Okay, level 4 is my lowest monster possible. So, actually, yeah. So, level 4, or lower. Um, that's basically so a lot of people attack you, so that way you can go into your defense team and take revenge on all of them. See, these guys that defeat my defense team, as you can see, their defense teams are much crappier. See, level 80, level 20, level 40. So we can easily just go in here and obliterate them all, and we'll still get our, uh, our challenge coins. We'll still get 500 challenge coins compared to um, these guys, which are level 100, 110, 110, 130, 100, 110, 100, 105, 100. These monsters are a lot harder to battle, and, you know, they're a lot harder to defeat. So, right now, we're just going to refresh. Make sure that you can refresh, and don't attack unless you're sure that you will win. So, like, right here, I can attack this guy, because that guy's going to be easy. 105, he's a rare. It doesn't matter that he's a higher level, he just isn't 30 levels higher than me, and... He is a weaker type of monster, so he's, um, what's it called? He's a rare. So if you have a, even a level, if you have a team of all 100 legendaries, a, still, a level 85 mythic just by itself might kick your ass. So be wary of that, and I usually only fight with mythics if they're level 75 or below. Because I can kill them in a reasonable amount of time. Because one attack from a mythic, from a level 85 mythic, will decimate half of your monster's life. And it can do that all while putting negative status effects on you. As you can see, like me, when I'm going for these low levels, like the level 10, level 7, all that, I'm in Legendary League. These guys know what they're doing. They have higher level monsters. They're doing the same thing as me, where I'm putting low defense... And then they're waiting for people to attack, to attack them, so that that way they can attack them back. And it's a very good strategy, because both parties win. You might lose a couple of trophies, but that's why you have to be active to make sure that yours doesn't go below the amount of, um, it doesn't go, go below the, um, threshold for your league. So, I don't want to go down to champion one. Because th then I would get less coins. I'm going to try to defeat this level 110 mythic all by itself. And you'll see how this plays out. See, this guy's almost already dead. We're going to possess him. And as you can see, he has skill mirror. So we can't really do much. All we can do is maybe give ourselves a little boost. Easy. See, he just defeated me. And now I'm out 500 coins, a trophy, and a point. And points are very valuable. You want to make sure that you don't lose points. But if we go into our battle log... Actually, I don't think there's anybody that we can actually take revenge on. That It's one of the most important things. Don't fight unless you're sure that you will win. That another hour that you will have to wait is much more worth it to just wait out the refreshing time or refresh it yourself than to lose an hour of time. So, you, so, even with these three level 100s, they're h better monsters than I am. And as you can see, they have speed runes on, so they're probably better than mine, and they're going to defeat me. See, these guys are de uh, defeated, or what's it called? Um, possessed. So, right here, I'm going to try to stun them all. And you can usually tell how good a monster is, or not how good a monster is, but you can usually tell if... They're good. Um, like, if you know which monsters are good, you can usually tell how it's going to play out. My monsters, they aren't that good. I'm not going to lie. However, I... Oh, shit. I was possessed. Uh, okay. 
See, I just lost another hour and a potential 500 points. See, I could have refreshed. Well, actually, I couldn't have. But, um, see, a level 50, 60, and 50. Now, I'm pretty lucky since I haven't done my quests yet. That's another thing. Do your quests so that way you can get more challenge points. If you don't do that, you're, you're screwed. So... Let's just kill these guys real quick. And bam, we have another 500 points. So, also, I'm not sure if points carry over, like challenge coins, carry over to the next 72-hour challenge, but I'm assuming that they don't. So, yeah, see these guys? Let's fight in the adventure maps. I'm pretty sure that's one of them. Dungeons, okay. So, let's go for easy gem dungeon. I don't really have dark monsters. So, we're going to try to rely purely on this guy, our level 100. So, we're going to try to use status effects to kill them instead. So, these guys, let's put... Not that, because that will prevent us. So, oh, dang, our stun missed. So, right here, let's just stun them all, do a little bit of damage as well. Charge up, minor blind. Going to armored troops ourselves, so that way we have double our life. And now... We're going to try to defeat Root Zeal, because I'm fairly certain... Oh, wait, hold on, what? How much Minor Blind am I? Oh, shit. Okay, so we no longer have that. So, Earth Offensive, stun them all. They're all stunned. Now we can go hard as rock, mirror damage. And now we need to make sure that we don't die. Well... It's a little bit uh, silly of me to say. Make sure we don't die. Dies. Okay. So let's let's actually just do a food and gold dungeon, and we can get these over real quick. Change team. Change this. No, I want Singularis. Actually, now we can block hard because he does a little more damage, or he does a little more spreading of damage. So we do that. Then we use Pushers Totos. They're almost dead. Earth Offensive. Bam, they're dead. So, spin this. And we only need one more. Um, We only need one more attack to try to get all these things. So, do that. Bam, all dead. Victory! So, we actually do need the food, because we're trying to upgrade our Dr. Watts. So, as you can see, daily missions. These are very useful. You want to camp out and make sure you have a lot of them. So, as you can see, we've already had someone attack us. And so, you want, might want to leave that overnight, or maybe a little bit longer, just to be able to rack up some revenges. So that way you can get lots of challenge coins. But it, you should still scout out your opponents. Like if we go to defense, 105, 100, 100. That's a mythic. So they probably have a fairly high level, like maybe an 85 or 90 legendary. And then they probably have two epics or another legendary. And those might be a little lower level. But that's just my prediction based on what I've seen as trends. So, let's ask for some griffin cells here. 87 of them. Trying to see if we can donate any. Cell limit. Don't have any of the other ones. Okay. Well, that's, uh, I think, all the tips that I have. But... Let's just try to get Killer Raptor real quick. 
So obviously, okay, so he was bottom corner. Bottom, so bottom left corner. So if we go this one, we're going to go bottom left corner. And, and then, sorry, I just do this weird thing where I try to predict where he is. So I pick a spot, and then based off trends, I see where he's going. And obviously, it didn't work. So if we do this right here, sorry, I just, I don't know. I just think it's kind of fun to try to make patterns out of things that aren't really patterns. So if we go right here. Okay, so let's just not look at the screen and then pick a random one. Right there. Oh, so close. So let's go right there. Nice. And I think we can do one more. Also, commit to one monster first. So that way, you know, you can get all the monsters. Because if you don't commit to one monster, you're not going to get any monsters. So save up your challenge coins because when you're in a pinch and you need 50 more to get the last tile. And you don't have any more attacks left. Well, you're going to have to wait another hour, which may be detrimental because the challenge might end in 30 minutes. So save up your coins to, to get the one that you want. So even if you want two of them, decide which one you want most. And so I'm pretty sure these ones are going to be the ones used for the next breeding event, but I'm not sure. So I usually look at what books they fill. I want Killer Raptor just because he's an he he's he's an Earth type, and my Earth Temple is all the way leveled up, and I tend to like Earth monsters better than Fire monsters. My Fire monster or my Fire Temple is also all the way upgraded, but you know, I don't I don't really like the look of Tyron or Tryon, and also Killer Raptor it can go up to level one hundred and five, so that's something to think about which one you want and there's also the Ilion tails challenge and so that's pretty good let's just feed our monster right here and then i think that is it for the video thank you